we now have two new NSD files. So what we can do now is we're going to assign these NSD files to our Chronicle. So for our outside map, we called the scene outside scene 1. And be sure to include the NSD file in there. So you got to be able to call it specifically by that NSD file. There we go. We just uh, we just changed what scenes are loaded. And this is the reason why you don't want spaces in the name of that NSD. And now, while we're at it, while we're on this subject of building um, new scenes, let's also cover immediately uh, how to change the way those scenes appear in the game so we can we can get this over with in one fell swoop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder called strings. And in this folder I'm going to create a text file called my map dot n l s this, this can get kind of confusing because you might confuse an NLS file and an NSL file. And uh, the NSL file we created for the scenes, and then the NLS file we're going to create to um, set up how those scenes will look when we load our map. So what we do is we just take we just take the string value here of the scene and when you separate it by a space or a tab you can input how that's actually going to appear oh, wait a sec. Um, it's the, it's uh, it's not just the uh, name of the string, but there's an appending here. There's an S at the end. So you're gonna have to put S at the end of every uh, every one of these here. And there's an extra step. We there's a couple of extra steps we're gonna have to do to get this to load. We're gonna have to create a meta file to our chronicles. That is uh, that is going to load this string, this NLS file. So we need to create uh, my map uh, um, nmf, and from my map .nmf, which we load with uh, Notepad. These are all just text files. Um, we're going to assign the NLS file, and we're going to say the NLS file is my map dot nls I think that's how I named it let's double check here strings my map dot nls so that's what we're loading and we also have to go into here and make it to where we load my map dot nmf so we we're doing we're doing uh, we're doing a f changes over a few files to make sure that this scene is properly set up and should uh, should appear right in the game. So now we're going to knob this. I'm going to take all this stuff here and strings and I'm going to knob this. Oh yeah, I did that again. Okay, let's cut it into the main directory. It's been assigned to custom scenes now. So, let's test that out and see what it looks like. I'm going to multiplayer LAN. It's okay, go create game. It's in our custom chronicle.
There we go. Now it says outside of the house. And notice that fog is horrible. Terrible looking fog. It looks horrible. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Don't use fog in any map. Okay. Plan it simple. Here we go. Inside the torture house. Yeah. See our door says outside now. And there's there's Rick. Rather than Joseph. Went a bit into uh, overriding description IDs and added scenes. And here are uh, we have our ambience and music playing in the background now. Pretty much how you you uh, do that. Let's have fun making custom scenes.